Well, good morning and welcome to another video. So today I'm in South Wiltshire, the south of the county that I live. Um, come to a nature reserve, I've not been here before. And there is a, um, a, a species of bird here that's quite rare. And I've come here to see if I can spot them. So I'm at, the, uh, I'm at a screen at the moment where you can actually see them. Now, they, they are quite far off. So today I've, 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 got, the, uh, I've got the 2 to 500 and um, the Nikon 2 to 500, D D500, and I've also bought my teleconverter. I've not put it on yet, because the light doesn't favour it at the moment, and because they are, they will be quite a way off. So what, have I, what am I seeing at the moment since I've been stood here? Well, there's hares in the opposite field that I've been looking at, through the binoculars, just here. These are the Bushnell 8 x 32s that I bring with me all the time. Um, bought my monopod, I think it's the Inderel VM VK70 or VM70, I can't remember now. Um, and also some lapwings uh, flying around and uh, been looking at them. They're just literally yeah, just over there, um, which is nice to see. And I just had a buzzard land in the tree behind me. So literally I've only got here, I mean, I got here at um, sort of like 20 to seven. So when I, by the time I walked up here at seven o'clock, so I've literally just been stood here for 20 minutes and I've seen all that already. So I still, there's a lapwing again. It's coming around. There he is. Oh, you don't really realise how quick they are. I'm trying to keep up with them. He's doing his uh, sweeping movements, going like that, and then he's turning and he's going back down again, up in a figure of eight. And there's about five or six hairs in the opposite field. So I'm going to wait until the light gets better and I'll just stick my teleconverter on. Um, I'm going to keep scouring. They're not the, the the birds I'm after are not in this field here, directly in front of me. They're in they're in the opposite field. Um, I'll give you a swing round with the GoPro in a minute and uh, just let you see where I am. But yeah, it's looking promising at the moment. There is a walk here. There is a circular walk you can do. There's there's a short one and a long one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to intermingle the two. I'm going to stay here for quite a bit. There's a bench over there to sit on if I get tired. And I've got some uh, a stove and everything else in the car to go and make myself a brew. It's about an hour's drive from my home. But anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. I'll catch you later. Well, about an hour ago, <clears throat> hour and a half ago, I went back down to the car, made myself a brew, warmed myself up. It's getting a bit chilly stood here. And I, after about half an hour, I came back to the blind and I stood here for about 20 minutes. I decided to go for a wander. So there is a, there is a circular walk around here. It takes about 90 minutes. And I just walked up to the end here, turned left, and I was walking along the path and I saw the elusive bird that I'm after fly in and he landed in the area where you were uh, where they tell you to look and he landed in there and I was carrying my monopod in one hand my camera in the other so I dropped the monopod brought my camera up and I managed to get off a shot I managed to get off three shots before it flew off and it landed somewhere else in here now I know it's over there now so it's just a case of me looking for it but what is this elusive bird well it's the stone curlew the stone curlew. They got uh, about three three breeding pairs here, um, but they but they are very elusive birds. Very very flighty. Um, don't like being disturbed at all. So I managed to get off a shot. I got one good shot, but it was still quite far off. So it's going to have to be cropped in, which would degrade the image somewhat. But I've got the stone curlew. I've seen one. I know he's over there now, so it's just a case of me just biding my time. Whether I stay here or whether I go for a wander again, I don't know. But now I know it's over there, it's just a case of uh, keeping your eyes peeled. So 
So I've come for a little wander. I've, I've come away from the, uh, the blind over there where the stone curlews are. I've just come into this little bit of uh, woodland here. The gate is behind me. Yeah, that's about to see it. There's another one of these blinds. So when you come through this woodland, I'll just spin you around. So this is the woodland in, in question. There's the gate just there where you come through. And you can walk all the way along this stretch of woodland. There's a path leading all the way around. But the blind is actually here. That's where we're staying. This is the this is the second blind I've come to. So just wandered around. This is called the lapwing hide. Because they have nesting lapwings here. And as always happens when I come out to photograph wildlife, nothing happens. <laughs> so anyway, this is a this is another view out of what you can see from one of these blinds. This is a very nice landscape, absolutely wonderful. Now I don't know if you can see it, but um, in the middle of the field here, I mean I can see hares and rabbits out there and crows and stuff. Um, you got sort of like yellow yellow posts for fencing. And in that bit, they've cultivated, they raked it all up and revealed all the stones and made it so it's a good habitat for lapwings and stone curlews and other ground nesting birds and stuff. There's um, skylarks in here as well. And uh, it's actually looking to be a very good place to come. I should come here again. I'm not going to say where it is because obviously stone curlews are rare um, and there are free breeding pairs here. So. I won't reveal where it is. It is in South Wiltshire. But yeah, this is uh, this is what I'm overlooking. I'm going to stay here for about an hour, see what we get, and then I should go for another wander around and uh, see what we get. Right, so I'm still at the lapwing hide. I've, this is my second return back here. I went to the um, curlew hide back there, stone curlew hide, and it was just too busy. There's too many people there. So I've come back to the lapwing hide, and lo and behold, I've got a stone curlew right opposite. I've just taken some video. It's let down in the grass at the moment. It was up on its feet a minute ago, and I managed to get the video of that. Not taking any stills of it yet because it's uh, not really doing anything to be honest. <laughs> so now I've got one in my sights. I'm going to stay here for the duration and see uh, see what we can get. But I've run a couple of bits of video, and we'll see how we go from here. Right, so I've taken my teleconverter off because the sun's out and it was playing havoc. Too much heat haze. They're not really that far off to warrant a teleconverter now. So I've taken it off and I'm shooting normally. One one thousandth of a second, f7.1, with auto ISO. I've taken a lot of video so far, there's two of them in this field now. One of them's the other side of the fence, one of them's this side. And it's the one that's this side of the fence I'm concentrating on more. So I'm going to get on with this. So I've got it right in my, right in my viewfinder.
the only thing is, is there's um, a fence behind him. It's sort of like uh, we've got yellow, a yellow pole fence post, and it's sort of like wire. It's a wire fence. Right, I'm going to crack on with this. I'll catch you later. It really is impossible to shoot any steels at the moment because of the heat haze and they are not close enough because I'm having to crop in the picture and it's just degraded by the heat haze. But I've got the video now I've seen three now all in the same area. Really really good. See, patience does pay off. I mean, it's 20 to 3 now. I've been here since it's all about quarter to 7 this morning. And I've seen three in one spot. Absolutely brilliant. I did manage to take a, a photograph of one back there earlier on today. So I'll put that one up on screen. But the ones that are here, because of where the sun is, it's directly above my head at the moment. It's just causing too much heat haze to do anything. So, video at the moment, unfortunately. Well, I say unfortunately, it's pretty good to be honest. Right. I'll leave it here, I'll catch you later. I've spent quite a considerable time here at this hide and uh, unfortunately the uh, bit too difficult for images they're still too too far off to take any decent images anyway and uh, the sun haze the haze is just killing it and all the contrast is just killing it so I've got the video I wanted I've got a couple of images I can use 
hopefully, um, looking at the back of the camera, but I won't know until I get it on the screen at home. I'm going to stay here for another half an hour or so and uh, start making tracks home. I've got an hour's drive. And uh, yeah, it's been good here today. So I'm not going to, like I said earlier, I'm not going to say where I am. I'm just in, in South Wiltshire at an RSPB reserve. And uh, it's been really good. And they weren't wrong. There are stone curlews here. And I've seen three out in that field. Um, I think I've managed to get all three on video, at least two anyway. So that's that's very pleasing. Not so much luck down at the other hide. It was just too busy. Um, it was all right this morning, but people just started arriving after 11 o'clock and it was just too busy. So I came up here and I'm glad I did. Glad I stuck it out. Anyway, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Not too many images on this one, um, but plenty of uh, video of the Sloan Curlew anyway. I shall have to return at a later date and probably bring my uh, Sigma 600 with me for that extra reach. Anyway, I'll cut you loose. I'll say thanks for watching and see you on the next video, guys. Okay, cheers.